बिस्मिल्लाम एक्सलेंसी खालिद माई फ्रेंड मिनिस्टर ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट समन हु आई हैव ऑलवेज हैड ग्रेट लव एंड रिस्पेक्ट फॉर बिकॉज ऑफ द वे यू हैव ट्रीटेड पाकिस्तान इज थ्रू आउट यू विल ऑलवेज आई विल ऑलवेज होल्ड यू इन वेरी हाई रिगार्ड members of pakistani uh, business community and especially the saudi business community let me first say one thing the relationship between pakistan and saudi arabia it transcends all other relationships because it's a people to people relationship it's a relationship uh, where whichever government comes in pakistan or goes every government will always want to have uh, this this special tie with saudi arabia and it's 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 for two reasons one of course because of the two holy mosques we are we are tied to saudi arabia but secondly because saudi arabia has stood with pakistan always in our most difficult moments which we will never forget uh excellency you know human beings we are made such that we don't remember our friends who stood with us in our good times but we always remember those friends who are there when you need them most when it when it is your bad times so therefore i can assure saudi arabia that whenever there is any security threat to saudi arabia whatever happens to the rest of the world i don't know but i can assure you that pakistan will be standing with you to protect your security i've been coming to saudi arabia for 30 years and i've seen it change under the leadership the dynamic leadership of the crown prince i've seen the difference he is a he's someone who has passion he has passion for change for the future of saudi arabia and i see that pakistan is also changing as our finance minister just mentioned in 60s pakistan was the fastest growing country in asia Pakistan one of the, was the country that was getting industrialized the fastest we had institutions which were stronger than institutions in all of asia our just to give you an example our airline pia was one of the best airlines in the world it created about 5 6 airlines so we had strong institutions our growth was going in the right direction and unfortunately as happens in the history of countries countries do lose their way we lost our way a nationalization that stunted our growth and now we are back on that path we have this is a country now which is opening it up itself for business we are incentivizing our industry we are now exploring the full potential of our country a country which is uh, as mentioned 220 million people but the majority of the the people uh, the population of pakistan is under the age of 30 it means it has tremendous potential to grow because the most important factor of growth is a young population then is the strategic location of pakistan we have two of the biggest markets in the world neighboring us we have through afghanistan the whole central asian markets plus route to further no, uh, uh, northwest to europe and if and if 
we have excellent relationship with China. But if somehow we improve our relationship with India, I know after last night's thrashing by Pakistan team in the cricket match, it's not a very good time to talk about improving relationship with India. But I'm imagining that if somehow we resolve, and there is only one issue between us, and that is the issue of Kashmir. And if like two civilized neighbors, we can resolve this issue. And it's all about human rights and the rights, the right of the people of Kashmir for the self-determination. The right was guaranteed by the United Nations Security Council to the people of Kashmir 70, 72 years ago. So if that right could be given to them, we have no other problems. The two countries can live as civilized neighbors, but more, just imagine the potential. India then through Pakistan has access to Central Asia. And, and then Pakistan has access to these two huge markets. And this is where I'm, I want to impress upon our Saudi business community that circumstances never remain the same. They always change. But as uh, you will know in your business community, the most successful business people are always the ones who have that ability to look ahead and take the risk. The ones who go on the trodden path never really become outstanding in any field, let alone business. So it's that ability, that fearlessness to look ahead and if you look ahead, Pakistan is in that strategic location where it opens the doors everywhere. And what more would we want than our Saudi brothers to benefit from Pakistan's location and the potential the country affords? Um, the two projects mentioned, one is the Ravi city, a whole new city we are trying to build. We are just in the process now of um, uh, uh, the, the bidding has started, the, uh, investors are coming in, but this is a great time to enter into the Ravi city project, which is a new city. And then the central business district, which is again in the middle of Lahore and Lahore, by the way, has a population of almost 15 million people. So it is a, a, a ripe for investment in both these projects. There's another project which uh, later on uh, our Minister of Energy will be speaking to Equapower. And this is a very interesting project, which is we have almost 300,000 acres of, of land, which is fertile land, but it, because it doesn't have water at the moment, it's lying uh, uncultivated. So we have 300,000 acres of land, but it's next to the River Indus. So the water is available. All we need is that we need energy to lift that water in a canal and then this whole area becomes cultivable. And we know that Saudi Arabia is interested in food security. This land is available. We will be, our minister will be discussing this with, uh, uh, with both uh, the, uh, the agriculture side and the aquapar side. And, uh, I think this has immense opportunities for both. Both will benefit. Um, finally, Khalid, thank you very much. You know, I'm, I know in a short notice, you organized this thing. I really want to thank you. Uh, and I really want that our relationship uh, goes now to a different level between Saudi Arabia and Pakistan, uh, a level which will benefit both the countries. Uh, the advantages which Pakistan has are different to the advantages which Saudi Arabia has. So therefore, if we come together, it will mutually benefit both the countries. Thank you.